hey guys welcome back to the channel if this is your first time welcome go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when i put out new videos as you can see on the screen we are going to be talking about ncb and a customer that was allegedly scammed by an ncb employee and as you can see on the screen i found it on instagram where ncb says that they are aware of the voice note that is going around about the fraud it is just i don't know i'm speechless regarding this how these banks can be allowing these people to have access to our hard-earned money and they can just take the money as easily as that and when you go to the bank they're giving you 90 days to give you back your own money or you have to wait for a long time before the fraud squad can decide whether or not to getting back this money and you're out you cannot pay your bills you cannot do anything this is this is horrible and it's not like the banks are not aware of it they are very much aware of it they're just not doing anything they're just thinking about how they can make more money to put into their own pockets so i'm going to allow you to listen to this voice message from this alleged ncb customer that who says that she was scammed by an ncb employee guys this is serious and we have to start protecting our money even if it is to start putting it under the mattress guys we have to start protecting ourselves because these financial institutions are only looking at making more money saving more money in their pockets they don't care if you have a hundred thousand dollars in the bank now i can guarantee you that it is not safe so go ahead and listen to this voice note where this poor lady is out how much money and she has no access to her own account because of these cameras <sighs> yes people don't delete this message listen to it very carefully because a serious things are gone if you have an account with ncb your account has been handled by a call center agency named hgs call center in new kingston your account your personal account your personal account where them can view how much money they in your account when you get pay and all them things there them have access to that and how i find out that last week wednesday the 27th of april me get my pay going to my account in the evening i'm gonna stop at the ATM machine and draw some money and my way woman in a taxi an agent called me say calling from ncb and um my account has been compromised as well as some other accounts and I know NCB was doing some work on their system prior to that and um, just a few questions like what they always ask you your mother maiden name your, your birth date of birth and she asked me one of the things was from a token number now when she done talk to me a mindset my ring back the number and this gentleman this guy answer and say the name of the place but me never through the noise in the background me never pay attention to that way my because rain or fall in a taxi noise in the background i'm a one for each one so when we could try to call that number again there's nobody answer so as I said, I never know the so NCB turn over our account to a call center and all them things there. When I go home, about 10 minutes time, I reach home. I did it and I go check my, I check my account. When I check my account, $31,000 withdraw. What the girl do, because NCB give them an account, she bring up my account same time compromise it as what the agent was saying to me downtown in the ncb bank compromise it right and then add herself when me, she asked me for the token she had herself as one of the, those payee that you had when you had in you had a, a, a bill 
right so you can make payment and then transfer the money from my account to another account right so me call ncb this me try to call back the number again no answer when i live no clock i call ncb early in the morning right they refer me to customer service and may i tell them what happened and then put a stop on my account a freeze as well as them so them freeze her account right i i called about three persons to talk to in the the customer service and then i went into the bank friday morning the girl in there was shocked what was happening and them admit say ncb yes give account to these people right so i said that's the only way this person could have just use the token and go into my account because if you if me should i give you a token number it it changed so quick it now gonna make no use to you if you can bypass my password and she never asked me for my password she never asked me for my bank bank account number not like that women that get suspicious not like that she asked me for just a regular question so she add my account up so when I gave her the, the, she asked me for the token, she was able to, in 10 minutes tops, transfer the money because she had my account up. Right? So, my regret is say, when I always call about anything about NCB, right? But my accountant, so I always customer service. Did I know that a call center people are anger? Give your customers provide customer service? No. I never know if your call center people are provide customer service to me all, all along. And they always ask you for relevant information and all that. What is your mother maid name? What is this? Give me an account number. If I have a card, I give problem, give me a card number and all them things there. So that's it simply mean if you have a you have a hard token or you have a soft token. So if you have a soft token by your phone, which is the app, guard it with your life because anybody see that number and them work at that car center them can take your money all of it out there you understand everything they can wipe out so people be on the alert not trust nobody not know what them say to you better you go into the bank until when them close it don't trust nobody because NCB, make sure they close down them branch and send over your account to these people. So people have view your account and know when you get money, how much other people then get scammed. I don't know. But now me not trust nobody. Me no want no, 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 no resolution from no customer service online. At inner the bank me go. Now they're telling me that dispute, it, it, it turned over to fraud squad. So my account is locked because them said them have got they might investigate and then also retrieve the money. So my account is locked. So me can't get absolutely no money out of my account. So me leave stranded with no money at all for do my take care of my bills. And NCB is gonna tell me that it's out of their hands now. In a fraud 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 um fraud um unit hands. So not even for say give me some money credit some money to me you understand so me can go and use me must go through all of that right with all of my bills and and stuff for me need to deal with me must me must forego all of that until as she tell me she don't know when then i go complete the investigation and me can use my account because it compromised and anybody the person can still withdraw money any money put in there So you know, say so I done me done with NCB and their account. You understand? Even when if fraud squad them bring it me down with NCB. So people, I am saying to you, this never happened to me in my entire life. But they're not just calling you now and saying, oh, you win this and you win that. Where you say, go well, and buy your business and me no want me tell us I want no winnings and whatever. No. Right now, I am told by workers who used to work in the car center that's a big scam going on. I get from source people have to resign who have integrity, have to resign as they then go to go start work. They have to resign because a peace scam is going in there. And in the study, people they pack up in the car center and they might get accounts from overseas and all over and a peace scam. So, if you have NCB account, I don't know if BNS is a part of it. I don't know if them send for them account over there too. 
But you don't need for in you don't need for don't answer nothing if I even go for the good or for the bad. Go in, go deal with anything. Right? And make sure on a guard on a token. Because they don't need to get your password, they don't need to get your bank account, they already have them information they were in C B already make them have access to. So all them have to do I get your token. So if your phone ever lasts and your token on it, your soft token, or your token ever go misplaced. Right? And you 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 you, you then get that the number there. Then you can strip your account of every dollar. So listen, don't just listen to this alone. Pass it on to other people. People must know where I go on. Pass it on to other people so they can know where I go on. So anybody calling about compromising for NCB about an account, no listen to nothing. Whether you want to for the good or the bad, no listen to none of them. Because them getting so technical and because they have access to your account already, they don't need nothing much. to strip your account. Because if I give you my token right now, you know you can't go into my account because you don't know my password. And any three attempts lock you out. And you have to call them for unlock it. So it has to be somebody internal. And they were shocked but they couldn't deny it. Even one of the agents they said to me, Boy, I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know why they turn over to them. You understand so people? A serious thing I go on. On the money not safe. In a them bank here where you take it, give call center, and then we don't know that. On the money not safe. On the money not safe. So I have to pass on the message so that other people will know say a serious thing I go on. So they don't need a card. They don't have a physical card in their hand. All they need to know if you add soft token or you add, or you have, if you have a hard token and should they have your account already, then bring it up and then transfer the money out of your account. Then add themselves as a, a, a beneficiary and transfer it out of your account. Right? So nobody look at me and say, I just call them a call you, if you ask you, if you tell you, if you win nothing and all them something. They might change that they know. A bigger things are going now. So no just be careful. And pass on this message to other people so they can know. Forward it to them so they can know where I go on.